Right guys, how are we going? It's Jamie here from Oztech Drones again. Now what we're going to do today is we're going to go, we're going to go through and show you how the obstacle avoidance works on the actual P100s. So these things have really increased in their, um, in their actual avoidance system and with their AI, how they drive around it and then keep spraying. They detect obstacle, they turn the sprays off and then they keep spraying when they go around it. So as what I want to emph emphasize first is this is only what we use. We use the obstacle avoidance mainly as a backup. If there's obstacles in the field, we still mark them, but I'm just gonna sh show to you how it works and then we'll go from there. So pretty much what we're gonna go through is we've marked a, a rough field. So behind us here, when we turn around, you'll see it. So we've got power lines, we've got fuel tanks, we've got power poles, there's all sorts in this little area here. So we've just marked a rough map on the um, off a satellite map. We haven't marked any obstacles. We're gonna see it real time as well. I'm gonna put it on the actual phone so you can see it. Um, we haven't marked any, we're not flying manual. We're just gonna set it and, and go for it pretty much. So these, these ones have the obstacle detection at the front. So it is a real time, uh, similar to like a LiDAR sort of system. It can pick them up and then go around the obstacle and keep going. Uh, it picks up the power line, so you'll see it going underneath the power lines, ducking under it and then keep going. Um, so yeah, it'll do a lot of different sort of things. Um, if it's not safe to go to the end of the row, it'll just stop at that row, go to the next one, keep coming back. It, yeah, it, it, they're very, the AI I mean, is a lot more smarter now. So pretty much what we'll do, we'll head over here. You're gonna see on the phone, you can see this area out here. Um, I don't know if the sun and the camera is gonna be much use, but We've got trees, we've got power poles, power lines, fuel tanks, everything in here. So this is just, we're just gonna do a little fallow spray in here um, just to kill all this weed in here that, for one of the farms here. So pretty much we'll start the operation. Tick, tick. We might just stand over here. Actually, we'll come over this side. Otherwise it's gonna go over top of us. <clears throat> so we're gonna start the operation. Don't worry about our little GoPro we've mounted on the top. It's a funny looking device, but it works. Um, we'll just turn the FPV camera on the front as well so that we can see what's going on. So you can see the drone working here. It's moving over to its first block. So up in front of it is a power line, so it should duck underneath the power line. There we go, you can see it's gone underneath the power line. It's gonna pick back up. When it's next run back, you'll probably see it has a um, power pole in it. So I'm pretty sure it's on this run. It'll be coming up to a power pole. So it's already detected the power pole. You can see it's going around it. It's going back around the other side of it. And then it's gonna continue spraying. So that's how the AI system sort of works in it. It detects the actual power pole long before it gets to it. Senses it, either figures out whether it has to go around it, over it, um, under it, those sort of things, and then continues on. If it doesn't feel safe, so say if you have a heap of um, trees in an area, then it'll just send you a notification saying, you know, please manual take over and then you can fly it back out if you want. So it's picked up that same power pole on that second run around it, just to give it enough room. And you can change the obstacle of like how far you want to keep an obstacle away from it. I think we've got this one set on two meters to keep away from it at the moment, uh, but you can change it depending on how, how sort of nervous you're feeling. <laughs> so we've got some trees and stuff up there at, at the other end there as well that's going around. Um, some bits and pieces of um, farming equipment up there. You can see it's making sure it goes underneath that power line as well that it's going under.
So it's nearly done this little block. Underneath that power line again. Around that little obstacle there. So we've actually lowered it a bit just so that we can see, just so we can see it going around everything at that end. So it's done that block now, so it's coming home. Right guys, so that was just a quick run through of how the obstacle avoidance works. You can see there was a few times there it ducked underneath the uh, power lines, went around the power line, pulled up before it got to the fuel tank, went to the opposite side, and knew it wasn't safe to keep going. Um, so that's how advanced they really are now. Like We have a lot more faith in these products now. We can send them out, even though we do mark 90% of our obstacles, we have a lot of faith in more that, you know, if we have missed one, it's gonna go around it. As you've seen there, we didn't mark any of those obstacles and it you know, obviously we didn't hit anything. Some of the older mo models, they were more of a detection system. They would detect them, pull up, um, whereas these ones are a lot more sophisticated. They detect them, go around them and keep going. So it's a lot more efficient in that sort of aspect as well. You're not having to worry about continue, uh, stopping and starting it and those sort of things. So yeah, so that was just a quick run through. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.